Hello friends, so today I am focusing only on the JavaScript resume and if JavaScript is your key skill, then you can't miss the skills which I am going to show you and the projects in this resume. Here is the blank word document. Now let's create the JavaScript resume step by step so that you can also create the same for you. And yes, the last step in the resume is the skills which is the most important thing. First, we will start from the header here like this will be your header, your name, your headline, then your uh, phone number, email and location. Headline is important because as soon as the recruiter will open your resume by headline only, they will get the attend. They will get the impression that you have the good experience in JavaScript and immediately they can shortlist your resume okay here you have to provide your experience but i am writing it 0 to 8 because i will show you the projects which are relevant for uh, zero experience fresher uh, experienced candidates and the projects which are relevant for the experienced more experienced candidate okay after that you have to put your location the location which is a city name not the complete address remember this city name is important because sometimes company are hiring from the same city where they are physic they physically present that's why you have to write the city name and that's the reason so these are the mandatory things now next are some optional things like for example your photo that is very much optional if you are very good looking then you can put otherwise i do not prefer actually but then your linkedin id that is also optional your uh, if you have any github email id then that is also optional so this is basically your basic details at the top in the header format after this is your experience summary in the experience summary the first line is mandatory and for fresh air whether you are 10 years five years whatever experience you have to write in a single line what is your years of experience and what who you are okay what is your role primary role in one line then other lines are optional like here you can add more lines as per your experience basically your achievements if you have worked in some specific good skill like ES6 or you have done some optimization techniques reduced page load so these kind of achievements you can write in your experience summary don't write things like bug fixing and uh, development uh, and all okay after this comes your work experience so here you will write your basically your projects all the projects you have experienced in but before that the most important thing is whatever resume you are creating just post it okay do not wait to learn something basically if you will post your resume see interviews are like exams so like exams you remember when the exam is scheduled then only you learn uh, in the best manner same with the interviews also you will learn the best way if the interview is scheduled so today immediately after this video create your resume and post it and then in parallel you can learn okay now coming back to the work experience here start from the latest project here write the role your uh, company name your duration and the city name now for your roles and responsibilities do not uh, write very normal things which every else is writing you have to write in a very smart manner for example write like what were your achievements in the project for example here i have written developed and optimized dynamic javascript application improving performance by 40 percent so this will attract the attention of your interviewer okay same thing it's basically the person has worked in a javascript application but rather than writing i have worked in javascript created javascript application it is written in a more much better way 
or you can write any of these points these are and I, I understand these are for senior developer now if you are a junior developer have some less experience then you can write like this okay built interactive ui components using javascript and jquery or ensured cross browser compatibility so basically you are writing your skills here in the project and showing that yes you have the practical experience in those skills okay remember try to write something deep technical task because simple things everybody else is writing but a warning here make sure that you should be able to explain those things because if the interviewer will ask you those things and you don't know then it's not a good thing right all right after this you can also add your featured project shares if you have created some personal some self-initiated freelance projects uh, whatever you can write it and then you can give the link also for the project details got it after but this is optional this feature project is optional if you don't want you can remove it after this your education okay so education you can add if you are experienced then just your uh, graduation and post grad details are enough if you are uh, fresher then add uh, more rows to add your 10th and 12th then you have your certification certification trainings right but don't write too much if you have training projects better to write in the work experience because work experience matters more so here you can write the internship like instead of this you can write internship project so that is great rather than writing that in the training because training is like education okay after this you can write your achievements any open source contribution you have you have written some paper or basically see small small things can be converted into achievements okay your resume is all about your achievements your project achievements your uh, educational achievements and every other achievement outside your work also is your achievement okay so great so that is now is the most important thing of your resume and that is skills now skills better to categorize the skills like this so these all are the categories okay inside each category there will be a skill so first of all start with the most important category at the top that is front end technologies and write here the most important skills of the javascript like this now maybe you, you will ask if i know javascript that means that i automatically know html5 right but recruiters do are non-technical person they don't might don't know this so that's why you have to write each and every skill technical skill in your resume okay now like this you can fill other categories see these are con concepts but if interviewer will see that you have knowledge of these concepts and uh, you have worked on it then they will be impressed now remember do not write anything here which you can't explain because if interviewer will ask question to you and you can't explain about that skill then it is not good for you okay so great so this is your resume completed with all the section experience summary skills work experience education certification and achievement and yes remember no excuses no giving up if you have not taken up my never give up challenge then do it now keep interviewing until you get the offer type never give up in comments to accept the challenge now i will tell you the five mistakes which you have to avoid the first mistake is do not make a resume more than two page long nobody has the time to read it if it is two page they have the good chances of reading it second point do not 
write in paragraphs writes in bullet points always okay do not write long paragraphs then third point do not make uh, the resume with too much colors and too for example like see here if you see my resume i have only used the light blue and the light black colors so that it is easily readable right if you will use too many colors and blah blah things then it will uh, the interviewer will be distracted and see small small things in resume matter okay and the last thing and the most important thing is this resume is of no use if you will not post it and if you will not update it every you know ev on every week weekend so update it all right now your resume is ready you know how to create the resume just create it for your own and if you do not want to format it by yourself then i have created the templates for you you can use those ats friendly templates in your resume and those templates i will show you shortly so if you are a fresher you can use this template which is for 0 to 1 year experience the project details will be very simple here second resume 1 to 4 years experience that is for mid level developers the project details will be regarding the performance of the application and others okay third four plus years experience the focus will be more on the leadership and the designing of the project so that's it and i know i know uh, if you will use your resume or any resume you will get some opportunities but i want to get you more and more opportunities because then only you will select the best possible job for you right that's why i created these resume templates now also i have the full boot camp for javascript codes plus the resume templates where all the questions and everything about the javascript interview is covered so that's it and the link is in the description for all the things so that's it from my side at last all the best for your interviews and your career.